6th Annual National Puerto Rican Day Parade. The air is clear. Yes. And it's a party is going on right now on Fifth Avenue. Greatest city in the world. It is just amazing. You know, we got a little programming note. Uh, today's ESPN on ABC's uh, coverage of the WNBA Dallas Wings at New York Liberty is airing right now on My 9 as we bring you the parade here on ABC 7 and Y. Of course, on, uh, also on Channel 7 and anywhere you can get any device you can catch us online. Yes. You know, we've been uh, just having a great time with this parade. You can see the, the line of marchers just joining us, being part of this incredible celebration of culture. In fact, our, our, our theme this year, culture, music, and, and of course, history and joy. Just a wonderful thing to be part of. Mucha alegría. Mm -hmm. Enough to go around for everybody here. Our next guest, she's been a vital force in organizing this parade and many other parades. Joining us now, the National Puerto Rican Day Parade Board Secretary, Lorraine Cortez Vasquez. Yes. Good to, how you doing? I am pumped up. <laughs> I am pumped up. We were how all you hugging doing? you. I'm, I know. You're we doing, are too. You're doing fabulous. <laughs> there was a truck that went by with Lechon, and they didn't stop for so us. We didn't get he any wanted, of that. We wanted to, and I said, you got to be <laughs> so we'd We like can't to stop file, and eat. We'd like to file a grievance <laughs> that next year we'd it like some Lechon. It smells so good. So. Well, we'll make sure that we send you a piece of okay. You may okay. regret that. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's this true that we heard you guys ran out of floats this year. We ran out of floats. What does there that tell you no about the more, appetite that the people appet have? You know what? Uh -huh. We went through two years of COVID. Yeah. Yes. We, we had a cultural parade. Thank you, ABC, yeah. for making sure that we were still present. And the energy's back. Yeah. yeah. Record wow. number of scholarships. Yes. Record number yeah. of floats. Record number of contingents. And you know what we say? Un pueblo muchas voces. Yes, 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 yes. So a lot of opinions a lot also. Of, a lot of opinions. <laughs> but 106 scholarships, that's nothing to sniff oh, at. No. A million people participating. Watch, who knows how many are watching, but at right. least the participants, right. we've got about a million attend Two Emmys attendees. last year. We're going to get three this that's year. That's right. That's yeah. right. And now this is it's so it's just quite a, le a legacy. Mm -hmm. um, 66 years. Oh. What does oh. this event and the annual celebration of the culture and influence mean to, do you think, our community, but also to New York City? I think, first of all, it started in New York. Yes. yes. And it started in New York in 1957 because the flag was prohibited yes. and the law was lifted. Mm. And so it was a way of saying to New Yorkers and to the world, we are here, mm. we're present. I think the message is the same. Mm. We're here, we have talent. Look, look, look at this table. Oh. <laughs> we have talent. It's evident out there. So it's really about a recognition. You know, I've told you over and over again, my family was here since 1921. Wow. And it's, it's about that. And the fact that there's so many young people in yes. this parade, yes. so it continues. Mm. This iconic situation continues. People cannot be marginalized, and they're saying we won't. You know, I, I gotta hear, we always talk about the parade and, and what you're trying to accomplish. I never really focus enough on you. Yeah. Uh, and I'd like to know your story, and I wanna know where your passion for the Puerto Rican people mm. came from. I know you, the parents. Yes. Boom. Right. Somebody, no, there's somebody in there. Yes. And, 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 and growing up here, but somewhere along the way, you decided to go that extra mile. I come from a legacy of three phenomenal women. Mm. My great grandmother said, you will learn English in school in this house we speak Spanish. Same in my house. Yes. yes. It's the wow. same in so many and households. Right. It's, oh. My you know, grandmother, exactly. Yeah. My grandmother was a union organizer and mm. she oh. said, the Plaza Hotel is a five-star hotel because I make it so. Wow. And it was that same kind of fervor. And then my mother was a community organizer. Right. I had you no had no choice. I had no choice. No, no, I had no choice. It. They said, you're going to get educated, but you've got to pay forward yeah. what other people sacrificed so that you could be there. And I've never forgotten that. Yes. And you know what? And my commitment is that this board of directors, have you seen some of these young, talented Amazing. members? Yeah. It is about passing it on to them. Yes. Mm. But so many of us have matriarchs that, that told us, when I want your opinion, I'll give it to you. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> we used to have a very, very vital thing, thing in my family. When the chickens do something is when you are allowed to stop. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. But you, you, over the years, have, have, have reimagined this parade. 
and, and yes. you've played an instrumental role. How have you seen it evolve over the decades? So thank you for that question. Ten years ago, we were at, at a point of almost losing the parade. And the attorney general then said, we're going to lose it. And some of us stepped up and said, no, you can't. No, you're not. So he reconstituted the board. I was gifted with the bringing it flat. The first few years, it was tough. But you know what? ABC stuck with us. And that I never forget. ABC stuck with us. And in 10 years, this is our 10th parade. And ABC, you know, we said, this is, you cannot lose this. This is iconic. We are still 800,000 strong. Yes, and in amen. this country, we're going, you know, we're growing more and more. And that's what this is about. It's yeah. about continuation. It's about honoring your parents, your grandparents, yeah. mine. And also setting it up for our children. Yes, that's part. The future looks good. Yeah. Man, the oh my God, looks they good. are amazing. Oh, they're amazing. Incredible. Incredible. And, and to see a Supreme Court justice that's from Puerto Rico that and helps from up too. here, that, yes. that's pretty impressive, too. I don't want to say anything, but she's a Bronx girl. <laughs> she <laughs> is a you Bronx girl. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> well, I thought, I, I'm fighting for Queens, but I'm losing the battle. Yes. I know, but, you know, you had that other baseball team. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's true. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you oh, again for, for what you, you do. For it's <laughs> such a great thank event. Thank you. And we're always promoting the scholarships, because that's what it's that's about. That's so important. Yeah. So thank you, Jeff. It's an honor to be with you. Thanks, Lorraine. Pina colada. On the way, okay? Pina chon. Pina chon también. Wow, what a great day. Wow. I believe this is, is this District Council 37? Oh, yeah, another strong. Yeah, yeah. Are you kidding me? We're talking about 50,000, 150,000 members. Not to mention the 50,000 retirees who are part of the group. Can I have a mouth? Perfect. Wow, look at this. Now, um, it was it was chartered in 1944. Yeah, it's got yeah. some history. They, yes. they care for the sick, the children, the elderly. They maintain bridges, parks, roads, subways. Uh, they staff the hospital, schools, libraries, social services, centers, city colleges. They do the clerical work, the maintenance work, the technical work that keeps the city running. The state members uphold rent regulations serve as interpreters and even reporters in the courts. This is a, a, a very significant uh, uh, group. Unbelievable. Well, we also have Marisol Malaret is one of the National Puerto Rican Day Parade's 2023 posthumous honorees. She overcame a difficult posthumous, a difficult childhood. Becoming the first woman from Puerto Rico and the Caribbean to win the Miss Universe pageant in 1970. With that win, she also won the hearts of Puerto Ricans everywhere. But Marisol was much more than a beauty queen. She built a successful career as a television host, a magazine editor, an entrepreneur, and a humanitarian. Notably, she lived her life with a sense of responsibility toward the Puerto Rican people, especially, especially its women. Marisol become a, became a role model and source of inspiration for generations of young Puerto Rican girls who were empowered by her determination, professional successes, and singular grace and grit. Representation matters. Wow. Matters. Oh, on Fifth Avenue. We just missed him. He just went by El Padrino of the parade this year. Ismael Cruz Cordova, Puerto Rican television and film actor, came onto the national scene playing the role of Mando on Sesame Street. 
That's so congratulations right. Congratulations to him. Mm -hmm. But I'm a fan of his work on uh, the new Lord of the Rings uh, on Amazon right now. And, and I, honestly, I'm not saying this because he's Puerto Rican. I'm saying this because as a fan, he was the, my favorite part of that series. <laughs> the whole series. And, then, and then I discovered he's Puerto Rican. Yes. I was like, are you kidding I mean, he me? was honored with the Breakthrough Actor Award for television at really the Critics' good. Choice Association's second annual celebration of Latino cinema and television, probably for that role. But then let's also remember, he was in Ray Donovan. Yeah. The Undoing, oh, The Mandalorian, who, which I'm a huge fan of because yep. I love fantasy, and uh -huh. Guillermo del Toro's Cabinet of Curiosity. So he is a force. Yeah, he's got a big future. I can't wait to see more from him. Also an NYU grad, uh, just for no, which, is, yes. which is nice. There you go. <laughs> my, my, my old <laughs> uh, by the way. What you're looking at here, Sigma Lambda Upsilon, Señoritas Latinas Unidas Sorority. And they pride themselves on being an organization of diverse collegiate and professional women dedicated to uplifting traditionally marginalized groups, specifically Latinx people and women. And we're going to see the dancing. We're going to see go. the stepping. Yeah, 1987. They've been an outlet for professional development, personal growth, both to the members and its serving constituents. Yeah, they take pride in serving as a non-discriminatory organization compromise of women from all cultures, creeds, disabilities, and political beliefs. Again, that community that is necessary for us to have. A community of women, look at that. Yes. Right behind them, uh, a different type of dancing, dancing in the boxing ring, if I got it right. <laughs> we're talking, uh, it's a group called Match Room Boxing. Uh, they were formed in 1982. Uh, I'm told Mushroom is the world's leading boxing promoter, mm. uh, founded by English entrepreneur uh, Barry Hearn. My father was a huge boxing, uh, uh, well, he was an amateur fighter. And, oh. uh, and so I, from like three to 10, I had to spend wow. in a boxing gym. Oh. So my father never hit me except in the in the I was, ring. I was gonna where say. he was teaching me how to dodge punches. So, so that's what happened to your jaw. I was right. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I explained so much in terms of the way I think, uh, also. But beyond that, you know, matchroom boxing just you know currently have yeah, 70 bo boxers in their stable. Yeah, yeah, no, boxing and Puerto Rico they go together. And I want to just mention very quickly, Katie Taylor, the current undisputed female lightweight champion from matchroom boxing. Stay with us. The National Puerto Rican Day Parade is coming right back here from Midtown Manhattan on ABC7 New York.